It was a female. It's been several years back. The the deep labored breathing, you knew immediately, this is not, this is life threatening, and I had to wait. Winston Salem Police Sergeant David Rose remembers being first on the scene of an overdose. He says in 2014, city patrol officers arrived to an opiate overdose before EMS and fire in 40% of the calls. And like him, they weren't equipped to help. But I had to wait, and we waited, and I think that was three or four minutes. That's an eternity uh, when you're watching someone suffer. Heroin is a popular opiate. Other drugs in this category include morphine and pain pills like Oxycontin and Vicodin and Methadone. All are very addictive. Well, we have a whole population of people that are unable to work, and that can be a strain on the whole society in general. Linda Dixon is director of nursing for Insight Human Services. It's an outpatient substance abuse clinic. And a strain on our health system as far as lots of times, you know, if they've lost their jobs, they have no health insurance. Strain on the uh, medical community as far as lots of patients don't have any kind of health care anymore. They don't have doctors. They can't afford to go to their doctors, so they usually end up in the area emergency rooms. And when combined with other drugs or alcohol, opiates are deadly. According to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, in 2014, Forsyth County reported 37 unintentional opiate overdose deaths. That's up from 26 a year earlier. Winston-Salem is the largest city in the county. Next door in Davidson County, 28 deaths, up from 24. Meanwhile, Guilford County had 40 opiate overdose deaths, compared to 15 the year before. To combat this growing problem, the Winston-Salem Police Department is giving naloxin kits to its street patrols. It's a generic form of Narcan. The drug pulls opiates from the body and revives the person within minutes. They're in nasal and auto-injector form. Both have two doses of naloxin. And the auto-injector kits literally talk you through each step. To inject, place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Firefighters and EMS have been using these kits for years with success. In 2013, Forsyth County EMS reported Narcan was given 90 times for suspected narcotic overdose. In 2014, it was given 112 times. As of July 2015, it's been applied 78 times. And if a patient isn't having an opiate overdose, the drug won't hurt them. Now that Winston-Salem police are using naloxin kits, more lives can be saved. If they get there first and they give their dose, they're taking a step towards what we're going to eventually do anyways. And that way when we come in, if the dose that they give works, then we can start worrying about airway management, controlling the airway, ventilating the patient. With the number of overdoses we experience, it's just a matter of time to one of our officers are able to save a life uh, with this. And that's incredibly rewarding to the men and women that put this uniform on to serve and protect. The Winston-Salem Police Department is also equipping and training its 20 school resource officers with naloxin kits. Statewide, as of August 2015, nearly 30 police departments are using this drug to reverse opiate overdoses. Catherine Mobley, WSTV Digital Media.